Hey everybody, this is Frilly Off and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build my version of the zero tick bamboo farm. But this one doesn't require any quartz, so you won't need observers and you won't need any comparators. So I'm sure you know how these work by now, but if you don't, I'll flick this lever. The dirt will flick backwards and forwards really quickly, which will unnaturally grow the bamboo. And it will also fire the piston out at the back, breaking it, and the bamboo is going to fall into the front. Now we can change this, we can adapt this slightly so it uses, uh, so you can grow cactus in there uh, by removing that block, that block, and that block there. But to be honest, how much green dye do you need? But bamboo can be used for fueling furnaces and scaffolding and all kinds of good stuff. So as a bamboo farm, it's brilliant. As a cactus farm, it's pretty pants, really. So let me show you how it works. It is very noisy, so I'll turn the sound down a little bit. So you flick that lever, the mechanism at the back starts working, the bamboo is unnaturally grown because you might be able to see it, that dirt is being pushed backwards and forwards really, really quickly, which makes it grow and then the piston breaks it and it all falls down into the front. Now you can have this whizzing off into a furnace if you want to give you an unlimited supply of fuel for furnaces if that's what you want, or you can just turn it into scaffolding, or you can feed it to pandas, what do I care? So let me show you how to build this. So what you're going to need to build this thing is a stack of blocks of your choice, can be any blocks you like. You're going to need two pieces of dirt, you're going to need two pieces of glass, you're going to need a hopper and a chest. You can make this a double chest if you want to. And you'll also need two sticky pistons, three normal pistons, six pieces of redstone dust, two repeaters, two torches and one lever. And obviously you'll also need a bit of bamboo. So now you've got all the gear, you're going to need to find somewhere to build it. And you're going to need an area that is five wide by seven deep. So once you've found the area, you want to take out your chests and you want to put a chest down just there like that. And then going into the back of that chest, you want to put a hopper, making sure that the, the nozzle is pointing into the back of the chest. Then you're going to need to pop out that block next to the chest and the one underneath the chest okay and then underneath the chest you want to put down a repeater on one tick and then in this hole here you want to put yourself down a blob of redstone dust now on top of this redstone dust you want to put yourself a block and then on the face of this block on the front you want to put your on off switch so whip out your lever put your lever on there and then when you flick that on that comparator, uh, sorry, that repeater there will go on and it will effectively turn off your farm. Now you're going to want to leave that lever on for the time being. Then you want to come to this block here, stand on the block that, it, uh, that your repeater is pointing into and you want to break the bo blocks on either side of it, on the left and the right. So you've got that. And then on these two, on this block here, on either side, you want to put yourself down a redstone torch. So grab your torches and you want to put one torch there. It should go out. One torch there. That should go out as well. And now on top of one of the redstone torches, and it doesn't matter which one, it can be either. You want to put down your dirt block and then on top of the middle block behind the back of the hopper, you want to put down your, uh, your second dirt block. OK, so you've got one redstone torch uncovered and you've got one redstone torch covered. So now you should have something that looks like that. Now what you need to do is you want to pop out those two blocks there on this side. And you want to pop out the same two blocks on the other side. OK. And then you want to put down a normal piston just there and another normal piston on the other side. Okay, so you've got your torch under there, you've got a normal piston there. Now you wanna stick down a piece of redstone dust there and a piece of redstone dust there on the block next to the normal pistons. Now what you need to do is whip out a temporary block, put a temporary block just there, and on the face of that block, you need to put down a sticky piston. It has to be a sticky piston for this to work. So put a sticky piston there, sticky. How many times can I say sticky? That has to be sticky. And then on the other side, exactly the same. So you want to put down a temporary block just there and then a sticky piston there. 
standard pistons, normal pistons there, and this form won't work. Okay, they've got to be sticky. So now you should have something that looks like that. Now whip out your solid blocks again and you want to put a solid block on top of that normal piston next to the sticky piston. So just there and then same on the other side, normal piston there, sticky piston there, put a block just there. So every time that block, when the torch is on at the moment, it's off because there's power going to it because you've got the lever at the front on. So that repeater is on powering that block, which is turning off those redstone torches. When we turn that off, that block will become unpowered, which will power the torches. And when the torches are powered, if there's a block above it, it will power that redstone dust, which will at the same time activate that sticky piston and the normal piston underneath it. And the normal piston underneath it, that one, is going to fire out really quickly, bud powering this piston, which will force it to, to fire out and back in again really, really quickly. So now's as good a time as any to give it a try. So just drop down to the front, whiz around to the front and flick it on. And you should see those blocks being pushed really quickly. It looks like there's only one there, doesn't it? But there is actually two in there. But because of a falling block or a moving block as doesn't really have any substance in Minecraft, it's allowed it to push inside of the other dirt block which means that if there's something on the top of that block, it won't break. If there's a crop on top of there, it won't break, but it will unnaturally grow. And that's the, the mechanic we're going to be using. Now, this is a bug and could quite easily be fixed in the next update, but at the moment it works. Uh, so utilize it while you can. But now we know it's working, we can turn it off. Now we're going to put in the piston that breaks the bamboo when it grows. So all you need to do for that is to put down a solid block just there. You want to put down a repeater behind it on one tick. If this is on more than one tick, it's going to break. So make sure all the repeaters are on one tick. Then a block there like that. You will need to crouch, put another block there on top of the repeater, a block there, and a block there like that. Okay. And then you want to put a normal piston facing forward just there. Now you want to grab your redstone dust again and put three blobs of redstone dust there, there and there. Now if we whip around the front again and turn it on, that happens. So now all that's left to do is to surround it with, with blocks. So if we stick a couple of blocks in there like that, the blocks there and there, 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 couple of blocks over the top like that and then we can build up the sides like that so now we need to stick in the bamboo so grab your bamboo and you're going to need to stick two pieces of bamboo in there because if you leave it as a little shoot this is not going to work it's going to break look if you turn that on now it's going to break okay so this needs to be like that OK, you need the solid bit at the bottom. And now when you turn it on, that happens. Turn it back off again. So now what we need to do is just put solid blocks all the way around the side like that. Take out your two pieces of glass. There and there. Stick a few more blocks around the side. You can, you can encase in the back if you want to. OK, I mean, you can fill that in if you want to. But it's up to you. So now all you've got to do is turn that on and watch your chest fill up or your furnace, depending on how you see it. Now, if you don't fancy unlimited amounts of bamboo and you'd rather have unlimited amounts of paper or sugar, then this farm can do that too. You want to whiz round the back and you're going to need to break that block there and you're going to need to break that block underneath it. OK, you, that block has got to be an air block because we're going to put we're going to put water in there. OK, and if that block isn't missing, the water's going to flow down. It's going to wash away your redstone. OK, so make sure that block in between the redstone dust is missing. That block there has to be missing. OK. 
and then whip around the front, break your glass, break your bam uh, break your uh, your bamboo that's in there, then break that block behind the back of the dirt. So you've got your hole there and you've got that block there. That's where your water's going to go. All right? Because sugarcane needs water to grow. If we try and put sugarcane on there now, nothing's going to happen. Okay, we need water to be behind the back of this dirt. Now we're going to put some water there. But when we do it, we are going to get washed that way. Okay, so if you want to stick a couple of temporary blocks in and you won't get washed out of your farm. And then you want to stick down water just there. Okay, it's going to flow downwards at the back. It's also going to flow forwards to the front. But don't worry about that. Now just put down your sugar cane on top of that dirt. And it's going to block the water, but allow your sugar cane to stay there. Okay, now you can break those two temporary blocks. Walk out the front, put your glass back in again, and then flick the farm on. Now it's nowhere near as quick as with the bamboo, but it's still quicker than trying to grow sugar cane without the, the, uh, the zero tick pulse. So now you can just sit here and watch your sugar cane come in. As I say, it's a little bit slower, but you don't need bone meal, you don't need dispensers, you don't need quartz. It's fantastic. So there you have it, a zero tick farm that works with sugar cane, bamboo, and if you really wanted it to, cactus. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial everybody, if you have, please don't forget to leave it a like, and if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future tutorials. This is Frilly Off, and I'm out of here.